In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of sizing and assembling a Thomas splint. Start by measuring the patient's uninjured leg. Measuring the uninjured side avoids unnecessary pain and discomfort. Measure the ring size. Use a tape measure to measure from the groin, slightly oblique. In this case, the measurement is 62 centimeters. Measure the inside leg length. Measure from the groin to the heel. Here, it is 74 centimeters. Now, choose the appropriate ring size. The possible options here are size two, up to 53 centimeters, but this is too small. Size three, up to 70 centimeters. This is slightly larger, which is preferable to accommodate swelling and prevent pressure damage. Select the splint sling. These are available in large, medium and small. In this case, we are using a medium size. Assemble the leg supports. Assembling the sling. Lay out the foam pads and hook and loop straps on a flat surface. Proper placement is crucial. Avoid spaces between foam pads to prevent tissue herniation and pressure problems. Avoid excessive overlap, which can create pressure points. A slight overlap is ideal. Attach the sling. Start from the bottom end, wrapping as you go, leaving some flexibility. Use four hook and loop straps. Two on the top foam pad thigh end for extra support. One across each remaining pad to keep everything secure. Flip the splint over and adjust the sling position to provide optimal support. Now, take the size 3 hoop ring and fit the padding tube. Trimming it as needed. Thigh hoop cover application. Choose the correct thigh hoop cover, available in large, medium, small and extra small. Here, we are using a medium size. Undo the hook and loop fastener.
leaves the smaller bar untouched. Smoothly cover the top of the rings to protect the patient's skin. ensuring no wrinkles or bumps. Adjust as necessary to ensure full coverage. It's important to check you have enough material to cover the tops of the hoop. Now, attach the prepared thigh hoop to the splint. Since the patient has a right leg fracture, the lateral aspect of the splint should be higher than the medial. When attached, the hoop should sit diagonally. This positioning is crucial, as the Thomas splint applies fixed point traction, anchoring against the patient's sit bone, while the other traction point comes from the skin traction, 